And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. Well, Singy, a couple of first-place teams, two of the best in the sport squaring off here tonight. Well, coming into the season, based on the moves that they made in the offseason, this is the expectation. So they are realizing their potential. But going head-to-head, -head, this might be a pre of what we see late in October. About to get started here. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. And down on strikes. One out in the top of the first. Next to hit, Brendan Donovan. And there's a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. He goes down looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Bounce to third. Riley fires to first, and they get Goldschmidt for the. Back here in Atlanta, towing the slab in today's game, Dakota Hudson. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They could move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Next offering is foul back. Got it by him for the K. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Waste no time there. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic. So when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it. And that was nicely done for extra bases. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. The 1-0. -oh. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And that clips the inside corner. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Harris stands at third with one gone in the inning. On the ground to short. Edmund slings to first. And the first run of the game comes across. Here's Austin Riley. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Got it! Covered plenty of distance there. And that's the inning. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, and no.
Second inning set to go and stepping in for the Cardinals Nolan Arenado. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Here's the left fielder Jack Sawinski first pitch and he just misses. And there's a foul ball. Check swing, no appeal. Line drive, caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. Up all the smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Nolan Gorman, batting with one down, takes a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. And that one missing low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Gorman checks his swing. Appeal to third. And that's a swing according to umpire Mike Fillmore. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Four for eight in the series so far. And first offering is fouled off. Just missed. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Here's Tyler O'Neill, two for six so far in the series. In there for strike one. Swings through that one. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Squirts away a little bit and an excellent job keeping it right there. Next pitch misses inside and the count is even two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the Back here at the ballpark, bottom half of inning number two. Now in for the Braves, Matt Olson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And yeah, that's outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings Three and balls. misses. That's down and in. And that's Thank ball you, four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Two for eight in the series so far. Grounded to third, could be two. Quickly to second for one. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Homered last night, added another hit as well. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner around second, into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Vaughn Grissom, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Three for eight in the series coming in. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Ozuna on third. Tarno at first. One gone. Take it deep. And one, one and two. And a ball evens the count. Right into the plate. In the air, right field. 
He's there. He's got it. Runner tags from third. He thought about tagging, but heads back to third. Here's Orlando Arcia. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Picks himself up in RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So the lineup flips over. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Not even close there. It's a ball and two strikes. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And out of here. That's what the fans came to see. And they tack on three. It's five zip. And pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. There's a swing and a miss. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning. And this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. So now one and two. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Pitch misses the there, and the count is two and two. Smash to the left side. Play made, that ends the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. And the lead is now 5-0. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Now here is Dylan Carlson. That one's in there. That's strike one. California kid. Played for his dad at Elk Grove High School. His teammates there with Nick Madrigal. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And a quick out number one. Back to the top of the lineup. Tommy Edmond at the plate. First offering misses the mark. Edmond measures 5 feet 10 inches. Hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. And no one can get there. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in and into second with one away. That's a double. He was all over that one. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Ground ball right side. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is downstairs. That one the other way. That's a hit. Here comes Edmund around third. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Slow roller to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Goldie, a former Gold Glove winner, 35 years old. Quick feed to second for one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. But they push across. 
And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Line drive to short and caught. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. That one's in there on one. I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Hit hard on the ground to short. Over to Goldie. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's Matt Olson. First pitch, not close. On the ground, right side. Gorman throws on to first. And that is that. Great. Welcome back. On to the fourth. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chris, it's pretty crazy to think that Nolan Arenado shared an entire side of the infield with a future Platinum Glove Award winner in Matt Chapman. They both were on the same team in high school at El Toro High School. Liner, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. All over that one right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time 106. The next offering misses. And the count is one and one. You know, in the offseason, he regularly plays wiffle ball with his brother. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. He's safe. Here's Nolan Gorman. He's 0 for 1. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Next pitch is downstairs. You know, these Cardinals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. 3 1 now. Swings through that. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. They get one. On to Olsen. That's two. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. And the pitch. Right side. Albies over to first in time. And could Ready to go. Bottom four. Now in for the Braves. Marcelo Zuna. That misses the zone, and that's one ball. ball one. On the ground to the left. Arenado to first, in time. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. That's out to center field. O'Neill makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. Popped up. Gorman in position. And that is the third out of the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Now up for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. And that's in there at the knees. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Got him swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. This is Dylan Carlson. First pitch, and he just misses. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Two down. And here comes Tommy Edmond. First pitch, just misses.
Down the left field line. Could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Donovan in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And a base hit knocks in a run. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Yeah. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So two down, and up next for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. Foul ball. Donovan, the runner at first with two gone. Tapped softly on the ground. Over to Albies, and that will end the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Truist Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now, here is Orlando Arcia. Pitch misses oh. inside. Ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Adam Wainwright up and loosening in the pen. Mats getting cranked up as well. Next pitch has popped up. Goldie balls it in, and there's one away. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch is in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Harris up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a pop-up. Edmund in position. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here in Atlanta, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's Nolan Arenado. They say it went. Arenado measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds, and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And here it comes. Out to short. Slings it across. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Sawinski stands in now, looks at that one inside. Base hit, center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Oh, that's, that's hard, hard. 
Man at first with one gone. And now Nolan Gorman. Gorman in his second season, 22 years old. A former first round pick back in 2018. The one gets a check swing. Appeal to third. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. And that one hit to first. And that'll do it. One hit. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Adam Wainwright. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. That was a moonshot. Home run number 40 on the year. It's 6-2. to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side as a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset here is Matt Olson and first offering is fouled off always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Next one misses. Now one and two. New arm out of the bullpen. Steven Matz. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Rips that one center field. O'Neill makes the grab on the run. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And first offering is fouled off. Mats, 31 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2009. And that's downstairs and outside. Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. Braves get one on the big fly. Now a 6 2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now Wilson Contreras. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Late with the swing there. It's so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Carlson stands in now and watches strike one. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Got him swinging. I think the key is... Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. Good eye right there. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Henesis Cabrera up and throwing. Stratton warming up as well. Swing and a ball popped up. And he makes the catch. One away. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. One for two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. O'Neal getting an angle on it. Grabs it on the run. Two away. 
Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game oh. comes, they make the play perfectly. Albies stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Out to center. O'Neill drifts towards it. Makes the catch inning over. And the Braves. Welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop. Tommy Edmond. And a foul ball. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And oh. now, Brendan Donovan. Edmund on at first. Nobody out. On the ground, could be two. Over to Albies. On to Olsen. That's two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. Middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Acuna throws to second, not in time. He's safe. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more. And the throw to first is there to put it in. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in, Michael Harris. Mats back to work. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Late that time, and it's strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. A swing and a soft liner. Makes the catch. One down. The right fielder, number 13. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. That misses, and that's ball one. Outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Popped up, middle of the diamond. Makes the grab, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Late swing, fouled off. Deal two. And that one is lifted in the air. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Well, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. Left-hand batter waits. Good eye right there. Riley off of first with two away. And now two and one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That is the inning. We go to the ninth. To now the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. Jack Sawinski. Morton back to work. 
This ball's chopped on the ground. And he handles it himself for the out. The batter. The second base is Nolan. Now the batter now. Gorman. Nolan Gorman. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. On a line, base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working. Albies to second, and it's a double play to end the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. And your final six to two for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew 